The Literal Society is a coastal conservation organization and we're dedicated to studying uh, the marine life along the coastline and in the oceans, um, helping others to understand about that life. Every year we get together in uh, early June to celebrate all the support and involvement of our members of the Literal Society and we simply call it Members Day. Through the support of the Geraldine R. Dodge Foundation who supports a lot of our work, we got brought together with people who were in the arts world, who were in the music world. So out of that came this idea that we would work with the Union City Music Project to bring their music to the coast, to bring their kids down to the coastline, but also to give the Literal Society members something a little new. Anytime I'm giving an opportunity to bring the kids somewhere, that and I see that it's feasible. I, I said, yes, of course. And it turned out several of them have never been to the beach. Anybody know what an estuary is? No. No? No? Okay. No. Well, it's a big word to say where fresh water meets salt water. So right now, you're in an area that's considered an estuary. This is the Raritan Bay, okay? All right, so you guys have to help pick out all the fish from the neck. Gently pick them up and get them into the bucket. Okay, here. I got excited because we were going to the bay to, you know, find some fish and uh, find shrimp and stuff. For me, what it like, what it felt was kind of, uh, you know, weird. What's beautiful about this connection is that if you look at the kids here today, they are future environmental stewards of New Jersey. I think it's just an inherent human desire to have a connection to nature, and kids are great examples of that. I think every kid is just a born environmentalist, and you can see today that just the excitement and the curiosity that is brought out in these kids to really connect with those fish and those species that are just under the surface of the water. Like, everything in Union City is so urban, so like you don't really think about the ocean and what's in it and all the mysteries. Like I get so distracted with everything going on around me that I don't really realize the beauty that our Earth like holds. The orchestra brings all these kids from different ages, from different backgrounds together and the purpose is to make music. From the beginning, they are part of an orchestra. That's a big deal because it's not about you. Study after study has proven that kids who are involved in an instrumental music education program, they develop many skills that have direct academic outcomes for them. I was told that music makes you smarter and learning new instruments also makes you smarter too. I think it's really important for kids in the inner cities, kids who come from very low-income families, from very humble beginnings, to have access to the same opportunities that kids in the suburbs have. These type of experiences open doors in their little brains. I'm planting seeds. Now to the beach! Yay! This is what it's all about in the end. But all the time I spend uh, fighting for clean water laws or so, so that kids can splash around in the water so that we can take the clams out of the Sandy Hook Bay and eat them. I got to spend uh, two hours today opening clams with two eight-year-old girls um, and a bunch of kids jumped in. It's at the basis for what motivates my work. It helps renew and feed my passion. Some of these kids who live in urban New Jersey um, have never seen the ocean. They've never been along the coastline. So we were blessed and able, being able to offer them that opportunity. When I come to events like this and when I get to see firsthand what some of Dodge has helped make happen, it just gives me a lot of hope for the future. This may seem like a simple thing, right? Bringing families from Union City, which is not far away, to Sandy Hook, but I really believe there's a lot of power in a 
eliminating barriers, crossing cultural divides, and really engaging people in, in this beautiful place.